Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Legusa Foundation. This is Suresh Kumar Devaraj and in this video I am going to create one demo application and demonstrate the same response dummy value from a service uh, how it look like in a REST API and in a NestJS MDC. So to demo this idea I have already uh, cloned my cloned this uh, demo application and I have installed all the necessary packages okay so so here is the root uh, the package uh, project folder here I installed all the uh, inbuilt packages in the starter application and also to demo the MVC I have installed this uh, HPS template engine into this application okay so the system is now ready to run will run the application using run start okay so the system will run now so before that so the default um, starter application contain a um, basic root endpoint and it will return hello world string and that will enter in the browser if you access this endpoint and uh, the controller name is nestgs okay yeah now the system is running you can see so the default endpoint is available now you can access the default endpoint with localhost 3000 slash nestjs okay so if you access the url uh, you will get the default uh, result here okay so the uh, the system is up and running we'll start with our implementation so first step i am going to create one rest endpoint and if you access the rest endpoint it will display some dummy data in a json format okay so to demo that i am going to create one model to store some dummy values inside the model folder going to create a model now model name is user and I will export this model as user with some properties like name as string type age as number type and email as string type okay so we we have created this model and next step i'm going to create a service method get users okay this method will return user array okay return the dummy value so i, have, so I had my had the dummy value already so i paste it here so this get user service method will return a user array with these dummy data okay so we are good to create an endpoint now <coughs> so to access the service i am going to create one endpoint with name get users and it will return user array okay so return the app service object dot get user method invoking this one will return the dummy value and this method needs to be exposed as a get with some endpoint rest so i will naming this uh, endpoint as rest okay so to differentiate the uh, rest and mvc response i am naming this method right with rest as an endpoint <coughs> so we done with creating a simple rest endpoint and if you access this endpoint it will return a json value printed in the browser okay so now we can restart this application and see the result in the browser okay. using this npm run command the system will run now start now yeah, started so here right you can see this flash this is an endpoint it's a get method and we exposed a new endpoint in this simple application 
so i'm going to access this rest endpoint now and if you access this rest endpoint you will see the dummy value printed in the json format okay so the first one i i demonstrate like rest api will return a json value so the consumer has to uh, invoke this result and render it whatever they needed they have to populate it in their ui okay and the next step uh, i am going to create a mvc and use the same dummy data how it will be look like in a mvc so to create an mvc based application we need to use we need to uh, install some template engine so by default i am using hps template engine that is installed already so i will i need some configuration to enable mvc in the nsjs application that also i have already done like the static asset path base view directory path and the type of view engine so these properties is properties are set with the proper values now so the system is now enabled with mvc also so we are, we can directly write start writing our mvc methods so here get user mvc is a method name i am creating okay and this will return before that we need to create the view so before i am proceeding here i am going to create a view here under view folder views views folder because we have configured everything here so the view will be defined inside the views folder only okay so here i am going to create a uh, view mvc.hps Okay, this file I have created, and uh, so user list, user list, user list. Okay, this is a name I have mentioned in H two tag, and to iterate the dummy value here in the MVC, I am going to use the default syntax of the HPS. template engine okay inside the div okay so your each users and slash each so this is to iterate this user list and user list is not at created in the controller so i am going to define that here so users or an array of user i have defined here and next step this mvc method should be a get method and naming this method as mvc and we have to use render decorator to generate our view so here if you invoke this mvt mvc method it should return the mvc template mvc so that is here we uh, created mvc.hps right so if you access this method so the this view will this view should get rendered in the browser so i have mentioned that and so final step we have to bind this users with the same dummy value okay so the users is a user array is bind with the same dummy value from the service and render the value inside this mvc template okay so uh, each right slash each means it is a syntax in hps template file to iterate an array okay so inside this i am going to iterate this list and printing its value there okay h3 
using the same expression syntax we have to use this dot main and hyphen <clears throat> this dot age and email this dot email so you should print all the properties okay in the browser so the list will get iterated and the values will be printed in this format so we have created a view also and we are good to access this mvc method also let's see see the result in the browser we have to restart the system once run start command so this will run okay so here we have to use this mvc endpoint to access like nestjs nestjs slash mvc okay so yeah now the system is also ready up and running so I copy the same URL and I will open in a new tab localhost slash mvc. So if you run this, uh, access this application for URL, you will uh, display with some view. Okay, but in re RESTful API, you are getting the response as a JSON. So mvc, you are you, you see all the data in a browser itself with CSS everything which means MVC inbuilt the server side will return a view okay so this is the difference I wanted to show in this video so hope this video will be useful to you all if you like this video please like this like it and if you have any question please mention your uh, questions below this video I will try to answer it and in if you not subscribe my channel kindly subscribe it thank you so much for watching this video